submission is a beautiful thing it's an art form um, it helps you be successful it's just and you have to also know when to submit who to submit to how to submit but all ways to submit is to literally curtsy literally bow your head kiss a man's hand uh, for the ones who's into that you kiss a man's feet you wash his feet give him a pedicure you have to learn to be more submissive and for all the ladies who are submissive out there shout out to you oh it makes you very feminine and very sexy it's a divine feminine act when a woman submit people frown upon or look down to women who are submissive women and honestly it, it bothers me raised to be a submissive woman don't get me wrong pump the brakes I was not raised to be belittled by men or be abused by men talked down to or any of that no that's not what being a submissive woman is being a submissive woman is allowing your man to play the man role and to be a man in a relationship and you playing your role as a woman that does not mean that I have to necessarily sit home and I can't work and all that. No, it does not mean that I have to make less money than my man or anything like that. No, that's not what being a submissive woman means. From what I was taught, being a submissive woman means to play your role as a woman, where we, and as women, we typically handle the more, um, you know, emotion. We're more emotional than men, and their men are more physical. So I was always taught to let that man be a man. This video is about being submissive, being a submissive woman. What is that like? Um, it's great. It's wonderful. Um, I'm a submissive woman. Um, I respect my boyfriend. I let him make the decisions. He's a man. And if I trust him, I know that he will make the correct decision for our family. I have no doubt um, that he will make a decision that's crazy. Um, and um, some people think being submissive means that he's beating your ass. Um, no, my boyfriend would never put his hands on me. That's crazy. Um, some people think being submissive is he tells me what to wear. I, whether I can have my hair this way or whether I'm allowed to wear makeup or... No, he doesn't. Because uh, that's crazy. Um, he doesn't control me. Um, some people think being submissive means you got to stay at home. You can't have career, education. None of that. That's not true. Um, if I'm submissive and I have an education, um, I plan on having a career. Um, <laughs> so... I don't, I really don't understand how some women just think that that's what being submissive really is. Uh, what I mean by that is, um, he's a man. A lot of women today are very strong, very opinionated. Um, we are the ones that mostly are working now and the men are staying home with the kids and all of that. So women are getting that mentality of wanting to be in control. They don't know how to be soft, feminine, and submissive anymore. Being a submissive woman does not mean that you're weak or incompetent or uh, unopinionated or strong. You know, it doesn't mean that. It just means that you are strong enough to let your man, your husband, be the man in the relationship. Women are feminine and soft. Men are supposed to be masculine and hard. And I think women of today have lost sight of that. This whole act like a lady, think like a man thing have really just taken women to a whole new level. You know, women are acting like men. And this is why you can't keep your man happy or you have so many problems in your relationship, in your marriage. Um, women need to learn how to be a little bit more submissive. I think that somewhere along the line, us as women, we lost our femininity somewhere. Like now it's this, um, the strong feminist movement, I guess you could call it. And it's, don't get me wrong, it's okay to be independent and it's okay to, you know, pay your own bills, all this type of stuff. But I think that we as women took that to another level.
um, now is like a, I don't need a man, I don't need a man for a damn thing type thing and all this other type of stuff. Uh, and it's all kind of like, oh, you know, the submissive woman is weak, this, this, and that, and that. When in, a, when in actuality, if you say that a submissive woman is weak, then you're weak for saying that. And it may sound bad, but that's just what it is. Because until you understand the role of a submissive woman and what it really is, not what you've been brainwashed or taught to think, it completely changes you if you are a submissive woman. Women are so quick to down a guy, especially like a black guy who dates outside their race. Like, you know, for instance, if a black guy was dating a white girl, like women are so quick to say, oh my God, sell out. He's a sellout. This is man that. that. But in all my experience and with all the, you know my fem my male friends and all that type of stuff, um, you know, there's no secret to why they're with them. There's no secret to why they stay with them. And if you really want to know the secret, you really want to know. It's because they're nice. It's because they're nice, ladies. Okay? That's what it is. That's the secret. Alright? That's how they're able to get them and keep them. And by all means, ladies, I'm not saying that, you know, it's supposed to be one side. Like, if he's like no good, if he's a no good guy, um, if he's not doing his part, by all means, please kick his ass out. Please hit the road. Please, like, please. Um, because you don't deserve that. But what I'm saying is that if you have a good man who's trying, um, who you know loves you, who you know cares about you, who you know would give the world to you if he had it, swallow your pride and bow down sometimes, right? Because at the end of the day, he's still the king of the house, right? He's still the king of the household. So please, by all means, bow that head sometimes. Please remain.